Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Molino and I'm a teacher at Valley Elementary and I teach second grade. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do a phonics lesson on bossy R and we're also going to do a, a short grammar lesson. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a warm up with the five vowel sounds. And if you remember our vowel sounds, they are A, E, I, O, and U. And remember, vowel sounds have two sounds. Two, not just one like the other letters. They have two sounds. They have a short sound. See how my hands are close together? Because that would be short. They also have a long sound, which would be long. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin by doing the short vowel sounds. When we do the short vowel sounds, we're going to practice with sign language. And what sign language is, is hand motions that deaf people use to talk to each other. They're able to spell out words. So what we're going to do, boys and girls, is we're going to practice doing hand motions to practice our short vowel sounds. So watch me with the first one. Here's A, and then we're going to say the short A sound, which is A. Then we're going to take an apple, put it in a basket, and then short, we're going to do the short A sound. So A, A, A. So watch that. It's A, A, apple. A, 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 A. E, E, Echo, E, 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 I, I, Itch, I, 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 O, A, Octopus, A, 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 U, A, Up, A, 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 A. Now, as I said, Vowels have two sounds, not just one, so we just did the short vowel sound. So now let's practice the long vowels. Th these are pretty easy because if you remember, the long vowels just shout their own name. So A says A, E says E, and so on. So let's try it with the long vowels. A, A, apron, like if I was wearing an apron if I was cooking. And now we're going to do long A. A, A, A. E, E, Easter, like when we see the Easter bunny at Easter time. E, 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 E. I, I, ice cream, like if I'm holding an ice cream cone. I, 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 I. O, O, ocean, like the ocean waves. O, 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 O. And U, U, unicorn. U, 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 U. So those are the two sounds that vowels make. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look who it is, boys and girls. It's bossy R. No, no, no. When I'm around, it's not the short or the long sound. Are you serious, bossy R? You're so bossy. You better leave. But bossy R is right. He's so bossy. And as we know, bossy means that we boss people around. We tell them what to do. So I want you to take a look here. This is bossy R, and these are some bossy R sounds. And what do you notice here, boys and girls? I notice that the R is after the vowel. The vowel comes first, and then the R. So when bossy R comes around, when he does, he is polite in that he lets the vowel come first, but he says, nope, you can't say short vowel sound. Nope, you can't say the long vowel sound. So for instance, short E would say eh. So this would say eh, er. But that's not what we say. We say, E-R says, er. E-R says, er. I-R says, er. I-R says, er. U-R says, er. U-R says, er. Wait a minute. What did you just notice, boys and girls? I noticed that E-R, I-R, and U-R all say the same sound. Did you notice that too? These are my bossy R triplets. Ernie, Irma, and Bert. And they all have that er sound. So er, ir, and ur, like they're mad, they say er. Ar is different. Ar says r, like a pirate. Ar says r. Ar says r. Now or says or. Or says or. So let's just do a quick practice. I'm going to point to these randomly. Wait a minute, Bossyar, would you like to help me? Of course. Alright, Bossyar, when I point to them, tell me the sound they make. Or, er, r, er, or, er. Bossyar, you're pretty smart. Pretty Thank good. you. Thank you for helping. 
Boys and girls, when this video is over, I want you to look, there's a link, your mom and dad can help you find the link at the top of this video. And on that link, you're gonna find two worksheets. Your parents can print them off. The one worksheet is going to have two circles um, with some letters, some bossy R letters in them, and then the other one is a worksheet. So this is how the worksheet's going to work. You're going to be making two wands. So those two circles that I just showed you will have ER or OR on them. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make a handle for your wand. You can use, like I have here, a ruler. You could use um, a straw, a pencil, whatever works. And you just tape your circles on the top. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to look on your worksheet and if the top part of your worksheet is just going to have words that have missing letters. And we have to decide which bossy R we put in there um, to make a real word. So in this one, let's see if we would try, when we know OR says OR, so ORN, FORN, is that a word? Have you ever heard of that word bossy R? Nope. No, so that's not a word, so that doesn't make any sense. But ER, ER says er, let's try that one. Fern, fern. Oh, that's a word, that's a type of plant, isn't it? So what I'm gonna do, since I made a real word there, I'm gonna remember that ER goes there, and down here I have a word sort. I have OR words go under here, ER words go under here. So if I just figured out that this is an ER word, to make it into a true word, I'm gonna put it under the ER column. So I'm gonna take my marker and I'm going to write the F, which was the first sound. And then we used ER. And then it ended in N. And I can underline my vowel plus my back bossy R, and then I can do a touch and say, I can do I'm going to use two fingers because it's two letters. Er, mm. Er, mm. Fern. Okay, let's try the next one. Number two. I see an SP. Oh, that's a consonant blend. I have two letters that say two sounds, but I'm going to smoosh them together because it's a blend. So sp becomes sp. Ert. Spurt. Bossy R, have you ever heard the word spurt? Nope. No, so let me try the OR, because the OR says OR. Let me try that. So now I have sp, ORT, SPORT. Bossy R, does that make a word? Yeah. Oh, it does, and that would be the OR. So I'm going to go down to my word sort, and I'm going to go under OR. I'm going to copy that down. So it started with my consonant blend, SP, SP, and we used OR and then the T at the end. And OR is my vowel plus R, and now I'm going to touch and say. Sp, sp, ort, sport. All right, I think we're doing pretty good, boys and girls. What do you think? So let's try number three. Hmm, this is a little bit longer word now. Let's see which one works. Okay, Bossy R, help me out. Ready, let's try. Mm, or made. More made. Is that a real word? No. Okay, let me try. How about the ER says er? M mermaid. Mermaid. Why, yes, it is. You're right, Bossy R. That makes a real word. And again, that's the ER, so we would put it under the ER word sort. So we have the M, we put the ER. That's our vowel plus bossy R, and then made. And we have the word mermaid. Okay, one left. Ready, bossy R? Okay, so let's try number four. We have a t. Er. Sh. Church. What do you think, bossy R? Nope. Okay, so let's see. How about the or? T. Or. Ch. Torch. Looks good to me. I agree with you because torch is a burning stick, right? So that's a real word. And that was the OR, so we're going to put it under the OR sort. So we put our T and then our OR. 
underline C H. And we touch and say T or Ch torch. I think we did a pretty good job. So when this video is over, I want you to click on the link and then you can copy off those papers and try it yourself. I think you'll have a lot of fun. Boys and girls, today what I want to also talk about is a grammar lesson. Last week you learned about nouns. And when you learned about that, you learned that nouns are naming words that name a person, animal, place, or thing. We're going to learn about another part of speech today. It's called the action verb. And action verbs are when you actually are doing something. So they're pretty easy to, to find in a sentence. Bossier, do you think you could come and help me with this? Yeah. So Bossier, do you think you can name, think of an action? Uh, walk. Hmm, let's see. I guess that's an action. That sounds pretty good. Can you think of another action? Uh, jump. You think that's an action? Yeah. Clap. You know what? I think you're pretty good at this, I think, I'm here. I think you are. But did you boys and girls know that action verbs don't always have to be seen? If I believe something, can you see me believing it? No, but it's still an action. And also thinking, you may not see what my thoughts are, but that's an action too. Or even dreaming. So action verbs, we might see the action ha happening. As long as we know that someone's doing something, it's an action verb. So if I take a look, so we had the action verbs that Bassiar told us, like walk, jump, and clap. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just look if we can pick out the um, action verb in the sentence. So our sentence says, Billy planted seeds in the garden. Hmm. Bossier, which word do you think is the action in that sentence? Planted. I think you're pretty smart, Bossier. So I'm going to underline planted. Let's see if that makes sense. Would Billy make sense? Billy names a person, so that would be a noun. But planted is definitely an action. Seeds names a thing, so that would be a noun too. In and the... They're not actions. And garden would name a place where we put seeds. So that would be a noun. So I agree with you, Bossier. Planted is the only one that works. For the last part of this video, what we're going to do is you're going to be watching a video. And it's an action verb video. So what you'll be doing is doing some actions. So have fun with this last part and enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you enjoy learning about Bossier and action verbs. Bye, boys and girls. English Sing Sing Action Verb Song Fa 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 follow me Fa 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 follow me Hippie yippie let's go Walk walk let's walk Hippie yippie let's go Dump dump let's dump Hippie yippie let's go Waddle waddle let's waddle Hippie Run, run, let's run! Woo! <laughs> Come on! Fa, 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 follow me! Fa, 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 follow me! Hippie, yippie, let's go! Jump, jump, let's jump! Hippie, yippie, let's go! Hop, hop, let's hop! Hippie, yippie, let's go! Dance, dance, let's dance! Hippie, yippie, let's go! Clap, Clap, let's clap. Let's listen. Fa, 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 follow me. Fa, 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 follow me. Hippie, yippie, let's go. Walk, walk, let's walk. Hippie, yippie, let's go. Dump, dump, let's dump. Hippie yippie let's go Waddle waddle let's waddle Hippie yippie let's go Run run let's run Woo! <laughs> <Woohoo>! <laughs> Come on! Fa 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 follow me Fa 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 follow me Hippie yippie let's go Jump jump let's jump Hippie yippie let's go Hop hop let's hop 
Hippie, yippie, let's go. Dance, dance, let's dance. Hippie, yippie, let's go. Clap, clap, let's clap. 